Right, so we're in Stoke Newington to come see my mate at N16 Meat. It's going to wrap me up some ribeye. So what are you after today? I need ribeye. I love it because when I'm cooking, that's melting and it's yeah, giving it lots yeah, of yeah, flavour yeah. and it just it just adds so much awesomeness it, to the food. It makes the same juice on the plate. Even you should be able to cook those. Nice one. <laughs> Clap it. Food busking down in Dawson today. I'm in the coolest place, my favourite place on the planet, Eastern Curve Garden. You've got to check it out. But today, what I'm doing is I'm doing a banh mi, which is basically a Vietnamese sandwich. But don't ban me. Three simple stages to it. First one is, is that we're going to pickle the cucumber, red onion, carrot, and then I've got these little radish here. Now, what you should use traditionally is daikon radish, but you can't always get hold of that. So these guys will do three tablespoons of white sugar, some Japanese rice vinegar. I'm just going to whack that in. You want to make sure that you essentially submerge all the vegetables that you're pickling so that they all get nicely pickled. Okay, and then we'll just give that a stir. I'm going to leave that aside for 10 minutes. Ready? I'm going to do the marinade for the beef. Now this is an Asian recipe. Ginger, chilli. And then, I'm using a microplane, but a grater will be fine. We're just going to grate the ginger in. It explodes all the ginger onto everything. Delish. Now I'm going to do the chilies for the marinade. All chilies are different and it depends how hot you want it. Banh mi should be like, it should be spicy, it should be hot. Now I like mine spicy so I'm keeping the seeds in. Now we're going to get the wet ingredients in there. I've got some sesame seed oil. You want two tablespoons of this. Fish sauce. Careful with this guy. He's very pungent. And then soy sauce. And then we're just going to finish off with some regular oil. I'm just going to drizzle two tablespoons. And now we're going to add salt. One and a half tablespoons. We just want to make sure that all those ingredients get to know each other. And so just move your steaks around. Make sure that you get both sides thoroughly coated in that marinade. OK, so that's going to marinate for three or four hours. It doesn't have to, though. If you wanted to start cooking with that straight away, that's fine. OK, so now we're going to get the salad and the garnish bits done. I'm going to grab some coriander. I'm going to use the stalk. Most herbs you don't use the stalk, but you can with coriander. And then I've got some baby gem. And then just slice through. Do it all together, nice and easy, to give it a bit of contrast and to add to the sesame vibe. I've toasted off some sesame seeds. They're going to be great. Everybody wants a banh mi. Sod off. Go on. Right, we're ready to cook now. You want it hot, so it, as soon as the beef hits, beautiful sear marks. <laughs> Sorry. And then we're just going to open him up. Don't cut all the way through. And what I tend to do is I tend to just have him near the heat, because I want the bread to kind of heat through. OK, it's the time to cook our steaks. Look at the flavour on that bad boy going in. Remember, no oil and hello. Two and a half minutes one side, two and a half minutes the other. That's medium rare. At the last final touch, a little bit of runny honey. Oh, yeah. OK, so out. Onto your chopping board. You've got to let your meat rest. It's so, so important. The reason is, is it's dead tense. If you slice it now, all the juices just bleed straight out and you've got dry meat. Mega important. Moment of truth, I'm going to plate up this little bad boy. Some chilli sauce and some mayo, whack those together and put some fresh chilies on the top. So we're going to mix those chilies in. And then, let's not be scared about putting a good old sludge of everything on there. Then, steakage. Oh my God, just look at this now. <gasps> so amazing. And just razzle it in. Get that in there. Salad on. Get the vinegar out of it. And then just on it goes. Some toasted sesame seeds and just sprinkle those on. A little bit of salt. And I've got some chives to just set it off. Oh. Look at that! Ban me!